All right, guys. This right here is a Predator Harbor Freight Predator 212cc six and a half horsepower engine. For most people that use these motors, they're good motors, but I switched to a Leaf On 7 with electric start. But anyways, how to get full throttle out of these motors without governor removal, which not recommended, but if you want full throttle, full speed without it going back, and here's a way you can do it. There's a lot of other videos out there don't really tell you how to do it or explain it very well without good video, but this is the governor lever. What I did was this is the original governor arm that attaches to there. I mean, I'm sorry, this attaches there and it goes in this slot on the carburetor butterfly. Anyway, that, you won't be using that unless you want to cut this, but I'm saving this just in case something don't work. Or in case I need it or something. This is the spring you will not be using, so you can just throw that out. This is for the governor arm return. This is a secondary return spring for the governor throttle. I mean governor, I'm sorry. Anyways, what I did is I took a piece of clothes hanger. I cut it down the size. You don't have to be exactly to measurement spec, but anyways. I took these little, I took the ends and I bent them just like this end. And I bent that one just like that end. And what I did, I just basically made this, but maybe like a inch shorter I mean it's an inch short right now what I got on there that I modif that I fabricated myself what I did was there's, there's an existing hole up here on this throttle lever right there next to this uh, throttle hole down right, right here it's where the throttle cable goes in anyways I just bent and you have to bend it because when you, if you put it on a straight, it's going to hit this part right here, and then you're not going to be able to go any throttle at all. So you got to make sure it moves past that groove notch point, so it moves freely and returns back by on its own freely. So what I did was, is I bent, I, I made it first, put it on there, got my bending measurements, and I just took some pliers, needle nose, whatever, and just kind of bent it until it, it went perfectly in shape where it moves freely and uh once you put it in there you want you ain't gonna worry about popping out and the next day next thing you need to know is uh right up in this corner of this top plate bracket right here you know either you can file it cut it or take some snips heavy duty snips you can snip that end off right there excuse me and um because this right here this part of this clothes hanger will hit that keeping it from going but as you can see mine opens up full throttle with no without having to push on it I mean without having to strain on it it, just, it goes freely and turns back at idle fully idle and there you go that's how you do it without having to remove the governor it will still run as the governor is not there so Governor really serves no purpose. This keeps it from blowing up the engine under I think 3600 RPMs, but this gives you full I think 5000 RPMs And therefore whatever type of go-kart you got, you know mine goes about 35 34 with the governor And I'm thinking with this with This modification will probably go about maybe 45 so That just depends on your go-kart size and the weight capacity and all that stuff, but Anyway, that's how you do it, and like I said, there's a lot of other videos out there to show you different things. There's one similar to this, but I put mine here instead of here. I just made it made it shorter, short and easy. So there you go, guys. That's a easy, quick video of how you can do this. Where it'll run full throttle, constant, no matter what. Even with this spring governor still there, it will not move back. If you got any questions, questions, let me know and I'll post some more videos lately how it runs. Later y'all.